All right, ladies, as promised, here is your Sokotoa review. Sokotoa. So this all has to do with only right triangles. So you need a right triangle in order to do this. So this is our angle, and our angles will always be measured from the horizontal, from the x-axis here. The bottom, the x, is next to the angle, so that's your adjacent. The straight up and down is a cross from your angle, so that's your opposite. And then the diagonal one is your hypotenuse. And your hypotenuse is always the longest. So when we do Sokotoa, When we do Sokotoa, sine of the angle is equal to your opposite over your hypotenuse. The cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So when we do Sokotoa, our adjacent is going to be our x, the opposite is going to be our y, so when we do tangent, that's going to be our y over our x, which should look familiar, that's how you find slope, change in y over change in x, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The key to a lot of physics problems is to draw a picture. So we've got the sun up in the air and it's making a 25 degree angle with the horizon. And then we've got a tree in here, so we want to know how tall is this tree. See, your drawings don't have to be perfect. We know that the shadow of the tree, so this part of the tree right here is 10 meters long and we want to know how high is the tree. So this makes a right angle and we need to identify our parts. This is our adjacent, this is our opposite, it's opposite the angle, it's across from the angle, and so then we, which trig function, so Katoa which trig function has opposite and adjacent in it, and we see that it's the tangent. So the tangent of 25 degrees is equal to the opposite, the height of the tree, over the adjacent, or the length, which is 10 meters. Okay, and so then solving, make sure your calculator's in degrees. We're gonna do all of our math in degrees. So we go 10 times the tangent of 25 degrees, and we find out that the height of our tree is 4.66 meters. So in physics, what we're going to do is we're going to use Sokotoa to take one vector and break it up into its x and y components. And so we have some vector, let's say it's 10 meters long, and we want to find how much of that's in the x direction and how much in the y direction. So x is our adjacent, y is our opposite, and the 10 meters is our hypotenuse. So if we're trying to find the x, we have adjacent and a hypotenuse, Sokotoa, adjacent and hypotenuse, Adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine, so we take the cosine of our angle, which is equal to our vector, or the adjacent, so that's what we're looking for, 10, divided by our hypotenuse, which we know is 10 meters. So we find out that the x is 10 cosine theta. And what we're going to find in physics, so whatever this angle is, we'll just put different numbers in and we'll find out that 
you know, it'll change depending on, you know, is it more in the x-direction or is it more straight or up and down. But what we will find in physics is that your x component is always going to be whatever your vector was, so whatever your vector was, times the cosine of the angle. And that's the important thing to remember there for your x's and your y's. And that's how we got it. We rearranged this cosine adjacent over hypotenuse to get that. Our y component, so when we go and we look at the y component, we find that the y is our opposite. So SOKATOA again. SOKATOA. Y is opposite and the 10 is our adjacent, so we're going to be using sine. So the sine of the angle is equal to the opposite, which is the Y, which is what we're looking for, divided by the 10. So if we rearrange this and solve for Y, we get Y equals 10 sine theta. And in physics, what we're going to find is that our y components of a vector are always going to be the vector times the sine of the angle. Those are two of the really important things to remember. So your x component uses cosine, your y component uses sine. So we've used sine, we've used cosine. The x component was the vector, whatever this vector is, times the cosine of the angle, and it's always this angle here from the horizontal. Your y component was the vector times the sine of the angle. So we've used cosine, we've used sine. When do we use tangent? Okay, here's our x, here's our y. So when do we use tangent? Well, tangent, SOKATOA, we are going to use it. Oops messed up. Soka Toa. Okay, so when we use tangent when we have the opposite and the adjacent. So when we have X and Y, because this is our adjacent, that's our opposite, we're going to use them to find the angle. So the tangent of the angle is your Y over your X. Now a lot of times what we're going to do is we're going to so how do you undo a tangent? Well, if you look on your calculator, you see the second function for tangent is inverse tangent. So the angle itself is the inverse tangent of the y over the x. We're going to use that very often to find our angles. And then notice we have a right triangle here. Right triangle, our favorite equation, Pythagorean theorem always applies. It only applies though to right triangles and that's one of the very important things to remember. So now you're going to go watch the vector video that's in your textbook so that you can get more on how to find the x component, y component, and how to add vectors and then you will go and watch the more complicated ones. So yeah you got a little work ahead of you still but you know sit back you can do it. Have a great day.